Hello world, I'm Lukap. Welcome back to Call This Similar Cult of Love, where we have made every single name cultist into a lover, and now we're just going to, you know, try to win this game, and it's not really gonna be this hard. We're gonna get the goal of sensation, after which we're just gonna go and get as many grail things as we can, and then we're just going to ascend with one of our lovers in the mix, and it's gonna be pretty easy. Now one thing we want to do here is we're going to want to start making be people into disciples. And uh, one place we want to go to first of all, well, there's actually quite a lot of things we want to do, but uh, we want to go to Care and Hero Limited, because from there we can find the paint that we need to make the Grail painting. And I think having the Grail painting will make life a lot easier. So in Cater and Hero Limited we are going to need, just checking my notes here. Forge or Lantern, so we need to upgrade Forge people or Lantern people. Let's upgrade some Lantern people. Let's upgrade Katkaro, so we'll take the Society of St. Hydra over here. We'll put Katkaro in here and we'll use some Restlessness and then uh, some Lantern lore. Sure. My follower will kneel as a novice and rise as an initiate. I will administer the necessary oaths myself. Other stuff we're doing here at this moment is we are working on Glover and Glover, which we probably should send someone after the younger Glover or the Annoyance here so that we can actually get promoted even higher. And we are reading some sentimental literature because... Uh, I actually don't remember. I probably want to combine this and this. Yeah, probably because if I remember correctly, our stack doors riddle is... What must open before this way opens? And I'm pretty sure the answer is in the level 6 knock lore. So that's what we're trying to do. And uh, HQ the library. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're needing a glimmering and an HQ of the library to combine these two. Okay, that's what's happening. And yeah, we need to upgrade our people before we can even go to explore. So that's what's happening. So let's just uh, make life move on. Okay, so here is the glimmering. We put in the iguan rod. We put in the words that walk. And then we can combine these. There are incantations of unseeming where the space between the words is as potent as the actual syllables. When a thing is open, we will know its nature. And we'll keep working on Glover and Glover until... Well, until we'll... Well, probably once we upgrade our second... Oh, what do we have here? A Pling Reminiscence and a Season of Sickness. But once we upgraded our second... Uh... uh Lantern person, we can wait for a little while and then go try to get rid of the annoyance at Glover and Glover. He navigates. Now you are the map. He illuminates. You were the darkness. He is not compassionate. You will not show compassion. Our compass is knowledge and our course is glory. Cat Caro still performs in theaters sometimes. Cat Caro, the posters say, finds the path. Cat Caro knows the way. Right, and we are our temptation sensation here. I have refocused my intentions. There are experience tucked like veins beneath the world's skin. I will know the deepest of them, though the experience might devour me. And then we will dream of the temptation sensation with a delightful sacrament. Blood's dedication. I will dedicate myself to the pursuit of sensation. And let's upgrade uh, Pope. And we can probably do that just with the Unmerciful Mantra. Yes! Now we need to put in the HQ of the library over here. There's the sickness, we need to remember to dream that away. Well, we can do that pretty much immediately, so let's just do that. Some words are best heard, some words are best tasted. That taste is on my tongue now, and I will never forget it. Yeah, yeah, we have dedication, sensation. I have dedicated myself to the immortal pursuit of sensation. Right. Uh, and here we have Pope. Clifton's devotions have grown complex. His eyes have grown wide and shining. His voice has become even louder. Okay, and now that we have those two, we will send them out to Cater and Hero Limited. So, Pope and Cat Caro and some funds. It's been abandoned since the explosion, when both the owners died. The machines then sighted. The building is a collapsing shell. Mr. Cato was known to display peculiar trinkets in his office. Perhaps some yet remain. 
The remaining factory walls could topple at any moment. Blackened timbers creak in pain. We must equip ourselves properly and move with dreadful care. Yep, yep, yep. and we will dream this affliction away, of course. And then we'll wait a couple of seconds, and then we will send Sylvia to get rid of this annoyance here. I want this irritation out of my way. The scheme will probably succeed, but if it fails, it will draw attention. Uh, oh, ooh, a season of love is incoming. Nice, that's the thing I want all the time. Uh, let's see, if we do, say, right of the Crucible Soul, and we put in... Rhaenyra in here. Alright, oh, we can't really even see what... We... I remember that if we put someone who is our lover into a Grail ritual, we need a lot less than we normally do. But I don't remember how much less at this point, so... Uh, eh, well, well, we'll see that at some point. Okay, and here we only have, yeah, the treacherous grounds over here, so there should be no problem getting through that and a glimmering is put in here oh season of love rose goes in here Come on. drama 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 can we have some drama please no oh. okay so it feels to me like there's no problem in having several lovers in this game like they there's this Occasionally this tries to make it into an issue, but it's really... it just isn't. Rose is on me, devouringly, the moment I passed the threshold. Once only, she called me Victor. We never mentioned it after. Every time she calls me Victor, at least once. My minions has returned. The annoyance is no longer capable of lucid speech, let alone capable of annoying me further. Nice! So, we will go to the senior position at Glover and Glover, and we will put in some devotion. And then if we put in some passion and ambition, now we will get promoted instead of, you know, ending the game. Now, things where we want to go. I'm pretty sure we want to go to Foreman House and... No, actually not. I'm pretty sure we want to go to the Fermier Abbey and Chateau Raveline. So, Fermier Abbey, we're gonna require... Forge or moth and someone to deal with monks. Well, moth people can deal with monks, so that means we need moth people. So we're gonna upgrade Porta. Porta, come in here, thank you. Uh, we'll just use the moth ceremony here, and that will do. Oh, we should probably be dreaming. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we really don't need to. We'll wait until we get the answer to the stack door's riddle, and then we will keep dreaming about the stack door. Oh, season of wrong kind of attention thing. Hmm. Well, it might go away before we get the notoriety from here. Actually, it will go away before we get the notoriety from here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and here is the constant of wounds. To open certain ways, one must first open oneself. This practice outlines that open in the name of the mother of ants. And that's what you asked me about, didn't you? What must open before this way opens? It's, it's gotta be the consent of one, that's the answer. A serpent's answer. I, myself, must be opened. Behold my blood, which is shit. Okay, and then I think we can combine these two you now the other way around. But to do that, we are will require uh, Erich Kuda Library and uh, Risk Health. Okay, let's just combine. Oh, let's just combine those things. Okay, Porter goes unnoticed until he's ready. Now the scissors, and then the knife, and now the wood, and then the bones. Now the flutter of the moon, and then the dapplings of the soul. He was blood, and so will we be. Right, so with Moth, we should be able to deal with Fermier Abbey. Right? And I'm pretty sure we want to go there, and... Uh, let's see, I'm... Yeah. Actually, yeah, Chateau Raveline. Yeah, we want to go to Chateau Raveline as well. And at Chateau Raveline, we're gonna require lantern people. Well, just means that we, at this moment, it 
it looks like we only need moth and lantern folks for a little while. So I'll just upgrade all of my moth and lantern folks. It's always good to have higher level moth people just to get rid of evidence and stuff. Uh, oh, didn't get a promotion. Well, that doesn't matter. We'll just keep working until we get our promotion. Uh, need to remember there are two things we can read here. Here's the capacious room where Mr. Cater once watched his workers on the factory floor. The window glass is long gone, and rats and crows have made this place their battleground. But perhaps there's still something of use here. Two floorboards lift away to reveal a hollow beneath Cater's desk. The rats are made free with the biscuits he stored there against the peckishness which haunts the entrepreneur, but they could not penetrate this iron lock box. A moment with a crowbar will open. So we get some notoriety, we get a bronze spin tree, we get Lord Franklin Bancroft Diaries, we get a Maribyrn Idol, we get the abandoned warehouse where if we wanted to we could change our headquarters, but I don't think we're gonna do that. And we get the vital pigment. So the vital pigment is what we came here to get. Because with that we can paint the grail masterpiece painting. Uh, pretty sure we can do it with the Delightful Sacrament, so that's what we're gonna try to do next, but before we do that, we're just gonna send people to Fermier Abbey, where we only need moth people, so Fermier Abbey, Porter, Sylvia, off you go, you're gonna need a couple of funds. Robert Fermier spent much of his, his unsavory fortune on the endowment of this monumental forest-crowded abbey. The monks dislike visitors, their ways are not exactly orthodox. They celebrate a certain harvest festival with unsavory vigor. Fermia Abbey, falling in the forest like a jewel box smuggled in a green robe. If we can make it through the forest, we'll still have to face the monks. Well, we should be able to do all of those things. And yeah, we didn't do anything bad here this time, so that's just gone. And let's just make sure. Yeah, you can be deceived. Yeah, yeah so mouth will do that, and Moth will get us through this forest. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we have some resentment here. Who's resenting me? Oh, it's Porter, right? Porter doesn't like me. Well, he likes me, but he, he's got some issues with me. Challenge knowledge. Okay, so there goes the library. And Isabeth is a disciple now. Isabeth was just here. Just a moment ago. Just here. Almost certainly. And then we will upgrade sleep. Actually, one thing we really, really want to do is... We need to turn these hanger-ons into people in our cult. That's actually more important right now. Is it though? Mm, it kind of is. kind of is. Because... Uh, uh, do we have anything we need to get rid of? No. Hmm. Okay, so we'll just use anything like the first truth. Oh, we can't use that, right? We need to use some other. Uh, let's use the operation of the Labite here. Because uh, when we get the, this season, the season of ambitions, we want to have hanger on so that we can feed them. And again, we might want to get to the situation where we have enough grail before we get the more stuff. Ooh. Forgotten Chronicle. Do we need those, or do we just go to the Painted River directly? I'll take that Forgotten Chronicle. And we, yeah, we entered the stack door. I forgot to read more of these things. The door grinds apart. The watchman's slight floods from the corridor within. There is a grinding moan from the head of Gerby. Tears of molten brass bulge from his eyes and roll down his cheeks, scorching the ground beneath. I may enter. The stack door is the adept's gate. To pass this is to be initiated into the first true mystery of the House of the Sun. The head Gerby weeps to see me enter where it cannot, but it must let me pass. The scarred valves of the door grind open. Last night Gerby was talkative. He spoke in his siege engine voice of the histories he'd overheard in the waking world. I listened until his story tailed off again into weeping. Right, so... Forgotten Chronicle level 6 stuff. Yeah, we still need this. Probably. No, we really, actually, we really even don't. Because uh, we'd much rather take the higher level stuff. Should have just gone straight to the places that give the higher level stuff. But, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But now we have the way through the stack door. So let's uh, finish our work here. And we didn't get promoted. That's fine. 
we work with our dedication sensation and we add the way to the stack door and we add the power which is the grail lore the sighing key this right is the key that will allow the red grail to enter me I will be changed forever and yeah we can't dream right now just because we needed to be there and the pawn is in our cult now that's Fine, uh, let's see if we get some restlessness from this, because if we do, we want to get rid of that restlessness. Yeah, we did get some restlessness, so we'll take another pawn into the cult, use the restlessness. And here we need to sacrifice our health, or risk our health, we're not really sacrificing it. Okay, another pawn in the cult, and expedition here is doing fine, good. Uh, yeah, let's just take more people or more of these pawns into the cult. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we use, we we'll just use any lore we can get our hands on. Oh, Tristan interludes. Alciana goes there. The right is complete. The marks of the grail are upon me. The first mark is what I've said, and the second is what I've done. If I inspect my body, I'll find the third. I thrill with new appetites. So now we have Ascension Sensation. The red grail has warmed me. Its thirst have begun to dry my mouth and it itch my hands. I know this to be the third mark. Right, so now we need to work again. Just back to this job that we've been working on for ages now. Ooh, another. Yes, there is another. Now we have Saliba in here and Valsiane. Two of my particular friends have chosen to call on me at the same hour. The conversation is stilted. Wait, where's my way through the stack door? Here, okay, let's dream about the stack door. Okay, we are going through here, that's good. Ooh, we get some mystique, and both of these people get a bit of resentment, that's fine. Also, we get the consequences, but we don't really care about the consequences right now, because that's just gonna give us a dread, and with the dread we can take another hanger on into the cult, so we'll just wait for it to give us the dread is here and with that dread we will take this pawn into the cult oh no they're stronger and wiser than we had supposed and now their blows have found a mark we didn't actually manage to deceive the monks that's bad well let's hope that no one gets hurt okay all things end patient defeats strength I've subverted my edge law to winter Okay, uh, should probably put this in the order where the subversion can happen, because then I would know if I could actually subvert stuff straight into Grail lore. Because it's hard turns into... Oh, well, Winter turns into Heart, and Heart turns into Grail. So if I were to... Yeah, let's actually move this around a bit. Wait, no, the other way. Around. This way. Right, and actually... Just put you there, and this is the order. Moth turns into Lantern, which turns into Forge, which turns into Edge, which turns into Winter, which turns into Heart, which turns into Grail. So, if we turn two, two of these into the le next level Hard Lore, we can then break down that Hard Lore. Use that to increase the Grail Lore. Uh... Yeah, 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 I think... I think we can do something with that, so... Waking Chant requires a Glimmering and uh, Risk Health. Winter requires HQ with a Library and... Dread. Silent Intensity Skill. Oh. Oh, we're never gonna manage to do that. Ah, that's unfortunate. Ah, this is the reason why I really shouldn't just upgrade these skills the second we got to them, because... Well... Or we could just... No... Can't turn our headquarters, because... Ah... What do you require? HQ the Sanctuary Prisoner. Hmm. Well, let's just not do anything with 
those things right now. Let's instead just read Lord Franklin Bancroft's diaries. Oh, it needs to be translated first, so we'll start with that. Okay, that pawn is in the cult now. We'll take the next one. And still getting, didn't get promoted. That's not too nice. Uh, what's coming up in the future? A uh, season of sickness. Okay. Let's paint right now. We'll use the skill, never know. We'll use all of our passion. We will paint the delightful sacrament. And we're going to use the vital pigment to paint it once it asks for those things. Okay, we'll head to the painted river. Oh, got the fascination. That's good. I dreamt of the mantis behind the wide door. Of the great space above the orchard, the space that overlooks the bounds, the space where the vagabonds once painted her river. Painted ships pass upon the painted river. I meant the painted eyes of a painted captain. She saluted, and the motion was like the layered movement of clouds. The sail of the ship was amber, and the captain's eyes the green of new barley, and the river aquamarine. Now that I am awake, I see those colors still. Well, we're just gonna use that fascination to take someone into cold uh, then next time. Uh, yeah, and we'll just keep going here and... Oh! We had tremblings in the air here. Uh, that's not good. Oh, logistical difficulties. Yeah, I need to put some funds in here. Ooh, and Porter did get hurt. That's never good, never good. Well, Porter, you need to be healed pretty soon, and we need to send Isabel there. Well, luckily she is also a disciple, so it doesn't really matter that much. Use the vital pigment over here. And I'm pretty sure that it is at 10 here we're gonna get the masterpiece of painting. Pull it up. You need to be healed. Is a bit. You need to go here and help. Holy crap! Well, what am I doing? I am seeing things. Painting whisper, windows wink. I know these things are not true, but how can I be certain? Well, to be perfectly honest, there's not many ways because right now uh, we're probably gonna get some fascination from painting this painting. Where am I gonna get some dread from? Uh, crap, 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 crap. Well, let's hope that we're not actually getting any of that. Uh, and I don't dare to read this book right now. Or actually, no, I'll, ju I'll just check my notes. Does this give uh, fascination or not? Okay, this bo book won't give fascination, so we can we can read it right now. Lord Franklin Bancroft was initiated into the art of the flower maker by the rose witch Fiona Ursher. He rose to become a society provider of occult services and secret pleasures before his abrupt disappearance in 1790. Bancroft seems to have been a talented adept, but devoted his energies to frustrating a whimsical project, arranging grape-fetching races between Mansa's spirit, teaching Procusigans to juggle, and conjuring storms of imaginary blossoms for the rose witch Ursher, who resolutely refused ever to couple with him. Bancroft spends 20 pages bemoaning this last. Okay, here we are in the Mansa's once more. We go to the Painted River, get an addition lesson learned is very annoying at this point, to be perfectly honest. The painted river runs from a great chamber near the white door, far through the manses, to its far edge where it enters a painted delta of far cloud. I voyaged half its length last night with a stern-faced captain beneath a rusted sail. As the clouds rose before us, the sailors raised a yearning shanty, and now close hold the sails to the best use of the painted wind. And all the while the captain and I discoursed on the secrets of the House of the Sun. What do we get from this? Tons and tons of stuff. Okay. Uh, holy crap! Three notorieties! Three! What is this madness? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, that's not good. Uh, you know what? So we're just gonna go and work here. And we're not even gonna try to get the... Is this gonna give us... Oh, this is gonna give us restlessness. But hey, that restlessness actually helps us because it's gonna turn into a dread and so we can get rid of that. Now, the problem here is uh, the fact that this thing is here. And the fact that we have gone to the stack door three times now. And we have gone gotten one fascination from there. So if we go there again, we can get another fascination. So before this thing is gone, we're not going to dream about the stack door at all. 
The monk's delusion. Faith is a double-edged weapon. The monks have great talent in the matter of believing, and so they have believed our lies. Good. So we got through the monks there this time. And Porter got himself a Nox Scar. That's interesting. Pretty sure if we just use Porter in a right now, right now, we could summon. What's the moth thing? Well, we could su pretty much summon something quite easily. Uh, we don't need the contentment for anything right now, so we will use the contentment to take this hanger on into the cult. Oh yeah, and the reason we're not trying to get promotion here right now is because all the notoriety is like... Basically getting the notorieties out of here would be the better thing? Because we c if we get promoted, we can get rid of all the notorieties with the work, but I... We do have so much money though that maybe that would be the better idea. Maybe we should try to get the prom promotion. Yeah, let's do that. And we will dream this affliction away. And uh, we really need to put someone in the cupboard right now. The mantra here recorded is a high and exacting magic which can be used to pledge one spirit to the watchman, beginning an ascent to the house. Bancroft boasts of his ability to recite it with when in his cups. He also had it set to music for a performance with fireworks at Vaxhall Gardens. Mercy, said the Watchman, is only found in shadow. Yep, yep, yep. We all know that. Ah, so there's really nothing for... Well, we could combine these things. Uh, what do we require for this? Uh, HQ the library... HQ the library. Okay, just with the HQ the library we can combine these. Well, that's actually nice because then we get to the next door and we can use this to get the thing from there. Okay, we have a pawn here, so now we can use our rules behind a bishop and... Behind a bookshop, not behind a bishop. And put this one in the cupboard. It sh should happen fast enough so that it can go here. Yes, it does. Okay, you are now in the cupboard and there's more notoriety for us. That's fine, who cares about some notoriety? It might cause some bad stuff to happen. Uh, the awareness of appetite here. Actually, with that awareness of appetite, we'll take this last hanger on into the cult. And there goes that, so we'll get the fourth mark now. A promotion! My son, the Elder Glover confines, was a dear boy, but he did lack ambition. You, on the other hand, have burned with it. I see myself in you. You know that? I do. Well, I think we can find your place in the Board of Directors. Let's see how long we last in the Board of Directors this time, because for the last couple of times it's been like, get one node rider in there and immediately fired. Another mark. When I'm done, the satisfaction is as deep as the moon in the sea. Another mark buds in me. Okay, so we are at the fourth mark right now. Some vitality. Okay, there's the last pawn in our call. So, uh, we should really just start taking people we need, because I know for one, first, for sure, the one place we want to go to is uh, the Voivod Citadel. And at the Voivod Citadel, we're going to require well, Edge or Winter and Lantern or not. We already have Lantern people. Uh, just to make things perfectly certain, we're going to upgrade Slee to be a Disciple as well. So that in case something someone gets hurt, uh, we, oh right, we need more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Ooh! Hmm, I wonder if we can. Uh, well, we can get you with the Moldy Warp mission. Yep. It doesn't have to be the same. When you're with using the Society of Saint Hydra, you can upgrade people with any kind of lore, so it doesn't have to be the same lore as the person, but because the people have some stat, it's usually easier just to use the same thing. Just gets up there faster. Oh, old unhappy far off things happening, and we are through the infirmary abbey, I think? The monks and their miseries lie behind us. Here in their chapel courtyard, a great yew rises beside the granite altar, lit with the sarcophagus. What's within? The space inside the altar is filled with broken cups, everyone painted red, everyone scrawled with vile graffiti and otherwise befouled. The monks must have held a great ceremonies of detestation and kept the remains as trophies. Buried among the cop corpses are other treasures. We get the Thirsting Tantra, we get the, the book that 
learn us allowed us to learn our magic. We get some rose pearl dust. We get the Horus book two. We get the Tantra of Worms, and we get against the Sisterhood of the North and something. Right, but just a couple of books. So next things. Okay, Chateau Ravaline. We need to go to Chateau Ravaline as well. Chateau Ravaline. Yeah, Lantern people should be able to deal with that. So Chateau Ravaline and Lantern people and a couple of funds. But hey, uh, we're actually gonna do this in the next episode because I just saw how long this episode has been going on. So yeah, we we're, we're gonna end this episode here and next time we're gonna go to Chateau Ravaline. Come on, well, uh, this has been called. I've, you know, every time I get get to this point where I see that hey, it's it's over time, I get confused at how sh how, how 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 do I end this video now? But yeah, okay. So we're gonna end this here and continue next time. I'm a cop. Uh, this is being called it's simulator cult of love. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.